GPS fleet tracking is simply the ability to track, locate, diagnose, and communicate with your vehicle anywhere in your operating environment. Hi, I am Sid Nair. I am the Senior Director of Product Management at Teletrack Naman. GPS fleet tracking essentially works on three key things. Number one, it has a GPS receiver. GPS, we all use it, gives you your location. When you combine it with a map, you know exactly where you are. Number two, it actually has a cellular modem or a communication modem inside. So now that we know where you are, we want to be able to communicate your location back to the back office. And number three, we actually then put that into the back office cloud environment or any infrastructure that we might have to be able to tell your office managers, your dispatchers, anybody who wants to track your vehicle or your asset, where you are, what you're up to, and give you some more contextual information of the job you're performing. Businesses of all kinds focus on three key things. One, driving up revenue and profitability. Two, focusing on safety and compliance and compliance management. Three, focusing on customer satisfaction. When you think about number one and revenue and profitability, ultimately every business is trying to drive up their top line and bottom line number. To help with that, fleet tracking gives you the visibility that you need to manage and optimize your available assets. It also gives you who's performing, who's not, what assets work for you, what assets do not work for you. It gives you that command and control uh, environment that you really need to run a successful business. I often get asked, what and how have I seen fleet services and fleet management being used in interesting ways? Fleet management and telematics at its core is all about data. Uh, the one recent example that I found was a company took our telematics data, knowing where the tractors and where, where their assets are, knowing how much they were spending on the cost per mile, knowing how much money they were making on a revenue per mile, uh, finding out the no total number of jobs and productivity, tying that to the vehicle costs, and getting really an understanding of whether they should be buying certain kinds of vehicle, vehicles or leasing certain kinds of vehicles, which is a very interesting way to look at data. I've seen much more simpler applications where we have focused and targeted on driver behavioral improvements, providing real reporting on how drivers within the peer group of drivers within that, within that asset. We've also seen much more interesting applications, like we know how many pizzas get tracked uh, in Australia, New Zealand in our applications, for example, and we know the, the demand and supply for that changes with sporting events, with other events that track as well. So we have these multiple applications and it's very creative to see how different companies em employ fleet management services. 